Okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta get on that guy. We gotta get on that chopper. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. Look, I've been through worse shit than this before. You know? Can't we have... Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never gonna make it without me. I want this back. You coming? Boozer? Another Nero chopper. Wonder what the hell they're up to. Deke, how's it going? I crafted you a couple of items, if you want to swing by. Oh, booze man, yes, yes. I uh, always need more shit. Thanks, brother. Deacon out. Boozer, you got that bounties. There's the 
only reason that I go up there. Hold on, hold on, they're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. Just, uh, warning shots. I mean, if they were trying to hit me, I would be dead. Deke, remember me telling you about that death wish of yours? Yeah, 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 I got this. Deke it out. God damn it, get back here with that! Shit, that's mine! Ah, uh, finally! Jesus Christ, that shit's gonna run fast. So, what the hell are they doing? Looked like they were out here 
shit. Wrangling freaks. I don't know. They had a newt in some kind of noose, like they were putting a tracking device on it or something. What? Wrangling? What, what do you mean? You know, like tying it up, taking samples from it or something, like those guys used to do on that wildlife show. Pretty fucked up. They got chased off by swarmers. Bugged the hell out. They left some gear behind, a radio. Wait, you don't... you don't think that Sarah... No! No, not... I... I... I don't know. I'm just... And he's alive, Boozer. He's alive. O'Brien. One of them. Nero. I'm gonna track him down. If I can, I... I'm gonna... I'm gonna get some answers. Damn it. Okay. Look, I'll be able to ride soon. I'll help you, Deke. If he's alive, we'll find the bastard. You're goddamn right. I'm gonna check in later. Deacon out. Okay, O'Brien. Where the hell are you? I'm sort of lost. I was hoping you could help me out. I'm sorry, you're lost? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for the old Belknap Road and there's not a lot of signs around here. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Nope. What? What is it? What? Oh, it's <laughs> great. That is just perfect. <laughs> that is great. That is great. So about those directions? <laughs> I'm really sorry. I, I don't know where Belknap, Belknap, Belknee, Bel Belknap. Belknap, that's the one. And I don't know where it is. I really can't help you. I'm sorry. So no, then? <sighs> nope. Okay. Well, thanks anyway. Hey! <sighs> All right. <laughs> Could you use a ride? Yes, I could. Thank you for finally offering. I'm Sarah. I'm Deacon. Oh, well, sorry about the mess. <clears throat> um, I don't know. How do I, uh, this contraption? Pretty much what you think. Just throw your just... leg over. Yeah. Okay. Um, there. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> Ready. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hold on tight. Thank you so much. No problem. It's just, there are no bars out here, so... Well, sure there is. There's a place called Crazy Willie's up the road. There's, uh... No, I meant cell phone reception. I know what you meant. Right, of course. Anyway. So what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> you know, I ask myself that all the time. I do research. Um, you know, I study things. Thanks. Had no idea what research was. Sorry, um, I do plants. You study plants? Yeah. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just... Oh, my God. Hey. Hey. I've got cell phone reception. Hey. Yeah, I'm fine. I just... The car you gave me, it's a real piece of shit. I need a tow. I'm on, um... I don't know, some... I don't know where Road I am. Road 42. Road 42? Yeah, I'm, I'm about a mile up. Okay, I'll see you when you get here. 
Come on, I'll take you back to your car. We can wait for the tow truck. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, all right. I'm sure when those boys come back, they'd be happy to give you a ride, so. <laughs> okay, all right. <clears throat> all right, I just... It'll be any minute now. All right, so. all right, all right. Screw it. Let's go. Just drive a little careful this time, okay? <laughs> you? <sighs> you weren't really lost, were you? Well, that all depends on who you ask. My ex would say I've been lost for years. Well, you certainly know your way around here. So you're not from around here? No, I'm from Seattle. The company that I work for, they just... They opened this lab here, so... Here I came to the middle of nowhere. To research plants. That's right, I already told you I forgot. Um, yeah, so the company that I work for, they, they do work for this bioengineering firm, and um, some of the plants that I, I look at are pretty rare, and they just happen to grow here. That has got to be the best thing I've ever heard. What the hell? Clay, we got company. Oh, shit. All right, gentlemen. Hit him again. Now you like that bike, love boy. Do it. Come on, hit him. Not so tough now. Hit him. Uh, uh, you don't learn, do you, you bike boy? boy? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, dude. I'll teach him good. Yeah, you like that? How about that? Oh, shit. Oh, I'm out. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Roll, goddammit. Roll. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Uh, oh, my God. Hey. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I, I don't even know. I just was looking in your bag, and no, I, I saw right. that, and I... Oh. oh, my God, I could have killed somebody. Well... Oh, shit. Yeah, but you, you gotta kind of aim it at them first. See, I've never done anything like that before. Hey, I saw, it's okay, it's okay. I They're saw going. it in They're your going. bag, and I just I tried to call you the police, good. but there were no You know what we're gonna no do? Bars. We're gonna, gonna do? no reception. I'm gonna wait right here until your guy comes. Okay. Thank you. I've never done anything like that. Huh. Could have fooled me. Yeah? Tucker, Hot Springs Camp, you there? I'm gonna need more info on that survivor Larson spotted in Marion Forks. Deacon, I already told you everything I know. Young, a woman. Wait, he mentioned Hungry Jim's. That old pancake house by the East Bridge. Lumberjack, big stack of pancakes. Yeah, I know the one. Okay, I'll start there. You do that, and remember, bring her to me. A group of drifters came through the other day, traded us a few guns. Maybe something you could use. Ah, keep that in mind, Deacon out. Oh, what the hell? Men are coming! Get out! Get out!
vagrants. It's... This must be where she comes to get water. Yeah, you come here for water every day, don't you? But you move cautiously. You don't stick around long. Good for you. <sighs> Smart girl. Stay off the street. Only come out at night when the freakers are out, but she'd be harder to see. <laughs> you fucking rippers, none of you are getting out of here alive.
get in and out. This is it. Come on. Just gotta set it here. All right, kid. Where are you hiding? Don't be afraid. Uh, I'm not gonna hurt you. Are you alone? Is there uh, anyone else with you? Oh, man. Okay, uh... Is, is this your room? It's, it's really great. Uh, are, are these yours? No! Uh, that's oh. mine. This one's for gymnastics. I should have won first place, but Missy King, she cheated. Lisa! Lisa, you hear the gunshots outside? It's not safe here. I was now, at we... school. And my mom called me and told me to come home right away and not stop. And they would be here waiting for me and we would leave together and... Got here and there was a note that said they left with some men and I didn't know what to do. So so I hid. I, I, I didn't know what to do. It's alright, it's okay, it's okay. Uh Lisa, not far from here, there's a camp. And you really ought to let me take you there. Uh, no. There are people there. There are people. I know them. It's, I'm not going to lie to you, it's a work camp. And to eat, you have to work. Life is going to be hard. No. But at least you ain't going to starve. No. Uh, no, my mom's coming here is, for okay, me. Okay, is this your mommy? Well, you said she didn't come home, right? So maybe she's at the camp. Mom is at the camp. I know she is. Okay. Stay close. The men with the guns, are they still out there? No, we don't gotta worry about them. Did you kill them? They're gone. Okay. Lots of sick people. There we go.
Get on, we have to move. I don't know about this. Come on, kid, we gotta go. Okay. Hey, what's your name? Uh, Deacon, my name's Deacon. Uh, Lisa, Lisa, how did you live out here alone for all this time? I didn't talk much to you. My dad's a rock hound. He used to take me out here looking for thunder eggs. Thunder eggs, uh, what is that? They're rocks, but when you cut them open, they're really pretty inside. Okay, that, that sounds great. We used to go all over. Hell Mount Crater, the Lava Flow and Black Crater, everywhere. Do you think he's at the camp too? Uh, I don't know, kid. Someone's in the tunnel. What? Here, how about listen to me? The gunshots that you heard, those were How's it going? really bad men. Do you understand? Yes. Stay here, find some place to hide. Don't come out until I say so, okay?
Lisa! Kid! Come on out, it's safe! Hop on. Are you okay? Yeah. I, I think I want to go home. Nah, kid, the camp. You'll be safe there, you'll see. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna ask you a question, Lisa, and I... I need you to think real hard. Did any of your neighbors, did they own any firearms? You know, like uh, pistols, rifles, things like that. No. Men came and took everything. Men? Were they like the men in the tunnel, or, or did they wear uniforms like, uh, like in the army? Like the army. But they were really dirty, and they carried flags they made themselves. Um, Deschutes County Militia, I think. I don't remember. Did they have anyone with them? Women? Children? I don't remember. Okay. Tommy would remember. Tommy? Tommy Strickland, my best friend. But he's gone. He left with his dad to hide. Hide? I, I don't... His dad built a fallout shelter and put all kinds of stuff in it. Maps, food, water, guns, you know, stuff like that. Okay, okay. do you know where that is? No. They wanted me to come with them, but I knew my mom and dad would come back for me. All right, this is it. We're here, Open so just gate. stay with me. Okay. Well, who do we have here? Mrs. Tucker. Oh, my God. <gasps> Lisa, honey. Oh, it's okay. You're safe now. Mom and Dad, and everyone got sick, and I didn't know what to do, and men came, and people Shh, got sh sick, and... It's okay. You're safe now. It's a miracle. It's a goddamn miracle. We were neighbors, weren't we, Lisa? I lived just down the block. I knew her parents. Are they here, Mrs. Tucker? Honey, you know the answer to that. No. They're not here. Let's go in. Get you cleaned up. Something to eat, and then, then I'll find a place for you to sleep. Take her in. Give her some food. Go see Alkai. I'll update your credits tonight. Hey, hey, listen, listen. She's she's been through a lot. Can we just let me worry about how? No, gonna... listen to me, okay? Seriously, don't work her like you do everyone else. Don't tell me how to run my camp. You want to move here? You want to help us run this? Then maybe you get some say. <laughs> Don't get soft on me, Deke. What do you want? Hey. How's life in the hot springs? Can I get anything else for you? What else can I do for you? Good piece. Should help out in the shit. Find me if you need anything else. Thanks, Deacon. Hey, I'm going to look around. Uh, hold on, I'll get the bike. Ryan, 
It's goddamn O'Brien. What did he say? Uh, Metolius Springs. Metolius Springs. Yeah, yeah, I know where that is. Hey, Boozer, you there? Yeah, dude. I just caught a break. That arrow ring on my desk. Not useful. I know where they're going tomorrow. Wait, I thought you said you couldn't take them on. No, I can't. But with a little luck, I can get to the chopper without being seen and... Get the hell, brother. Remember what Jack used to say? Don't ride faster than your guardian angel can fly. That guy's sad. Jack used to say a lot of stupid shit. Deacon it out. Alright, let's go see what the hell the hero is up to. St. John, stop by the hot springs when you can. Tucker, I hear you. St. John out. out. Sarge, how about we make an unscheduled stop on our way back? A couple of sample traps I want to check. Hey, Doc, how long before your job's done? I'm not a doctor. I keep telling you that. Sorry, Lieutenant O'Brien. How long are we going to be here? I thought I heard something. I thought I saw something in our approach. I'm going to check it out. Yeah? It's probably nothing. Fresh carrion, maybe. Okay, Doc. Lieutenant, now become carrion yourself. I thought I saw something. It's gonna come carry in Corbin, not humans. You guys checked the perimeter, right? Yeah, it's clear. Lieutenant O'Brien. 
Brian, field note 2006. On approach to the landing site, I observed a large swarm of insects, probably Dimanus atratus or Diptera, in a clearing well away from our designated target. From that distance, I cannot discern what was attracting the insects, but from the size of the swarm, recent carry is indicated. Should be just over here. Damn it, where is it? Ah! Speculation as to Tobinus Atratus is confirmed. Lots of force for this here. Not to have the suit on, let me tell you. Carrion is still mostly intact and appears to be what a coilus minus or mule deer. Everybody can check that. Striation of the larger muscle masses indicate infection for extreme HB. We'll take sample to confirm. This way, you poor son of a bitch. At least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, whether that been something. Uh-uh. What do you want? Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly that uh, if conducting operations in quarantine zones, that if I encounter any civilians or sub... sub Civilians that I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive? What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. The next it's time, refugee Nero camp, protocol two dash seven states. I, Everyone was dead. Two they were slaughtered, seven. torn limb Nero from goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up. We're gonna do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell is you're doing out here. The hard way. I crack open that little spacesuit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So what's it gonna be, O'Brien? <laughs> Yes. Okay. Okay. You remember the rooftop of the old brewery. I put a woman on your chopper. She was wounded. Yes. I remember. A, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead. So I'm going to ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You, you have one of our radios. That's how you... Uh, I, I can't promise anything, but... I'll, I'll check. Uh huh. And I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't. Hey, you don't understand. I'll fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look. If you're gonna fucking kill me, do it. Okay? I did my job. Did the woman, your wife? I put her on oxygen. I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic. She wasn't gonna make it. But I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life. O'Brien, <sighs> report. I have to go. Please, I, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Ryan, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to track you down. And I'm going to do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night.
alive. How the hell is he alive? They were diverted south. He said that he put her on oxygen. He gave her an IV. He kept her alive. She was septic, so I, she wasn't gonna make it. But he got her to a mesh unit. He saved her life. He said it. He said he saved her life. She, she can still be. She. No, 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 no. But O'Brien is alive. If he is. Man, um, a few days ago, I asked you if you remembered that Nero asshole O'Brien. Uh, yeah, Deke, it's, it's all uh, kind of a blur. Yeah, yeah, okay. Get some shut eye, booze, man. I'll tell you about it later. When are we riding out of here, Deke? Oh, soon, loser. Real soon. Look, <clears throat> as soon as your arm heals, we're gonna be riding the hell out of here. Yeah, Deke. O'Brien, are you out there? O'Brien! Oh, you son of a bitch, you better radio me. You hear me, O'Brien? I know you're on this channel. God damn it. Okay, you better get back to me or I'm going to track you down. You got that? Oh, God damn it. Oh, come on, O'Brien! Get back to me. Track down the chopper. Was it the same guy, the one we saw on the roof that night? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it was him. Did he remember us? Sarah, what happened? I, I don't know. They got diverted south. He, he remembered her, but he doesn't know what happened to her. You I mean, I don't think she's still alive. What? No. No, look, I'm not stupid, loser. I just want to find out, you know? I'm... <laughs> stupid loser. I just want to find out, you know, what happened to her. Where she died. Hey, maybe you can finally find some peace. I don't need to find any peace, Jesus loser. I, I gotta go, all right? Deacon out.
Good. It's all right. Open up. Oh. How's it going? Looks like a few years here. Hey, what do you need? Yeah. Deke, uh, I, I need you to go after someone. Go after someone? Okay, what's going on? Right after you brought in that girl, Lisa. Larson brings in another one. Name was Rose Allen, a weak little thing. But we figured she could pull her own weight, help us get this irrigation ditch done. Uh, okay, so what do, you, what do you need? She's gone. She went on a supply run with Alki. Some others up to that abandoned Nero refugee camp. You know the one, I, I think you've been up there before. Yeah, I, yeah, 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 I know the one. Find her, Deke. There's been a bunch of drifters and squatters spotted up that way. If, if they find her first. Yeah, 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 okay, I'm, I'm gonna see what I can do. your bike. Hold on, I'll get the gate. John Salome Hot Springs. Talk to you there. Yeah, Deke. I'm here. Hey, I'm at that location. The girl was last seen. Looks like they uh, got her on the spring. She was here. Probably not much chance she's still alive. If she is, they'll find her. Tuck her out. sent me. Wait, wait, I said that I am here to help you. No, you're with her. You're from the work camp. No, no, I'm with Tucker. I, uh, I, I do runs for, yeah. They starved me. I wouldn't follow her orders, so they wouldn't feed me. Well, I mean, it's a work camp. I mean, everyone's got to work. I'm not a slave. I'm not going back, do you hear me? I'd rather die out here. Okay, 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 God damn it. Go on.
bounties. Finally. Hey, me again. Boozer says that I shouldn't come up here anymore. He, he keeps asking me what goods it do, and, and maybe he's right, I don't know. He got hurt pretty bad the other day. We ran into some rippers who burned the hell out of his arm, and it looks pretty bad. I broke into one of those, uh, uh, what the hell do you call them, the mobile medical units? I mean, I got him sterile bandages, and I, I hope it's enough, you know, but Boozer, you know, he says he's fine, but I, I don't, I don't think so. Shit looks pretty bad to me. See, the thing is, it was on me. I risked his life for a bike part. Goddamn bike part. Not that it mattered, son of a bitch, Copeland parted it out anyway. Took me a year to put that bike together. You would have liked it. It's not as nice as the one that I taught you to ride on, but it got me around. You remember that tank that you had painted for me? Well, that was the only thing left of that old hog, and now it's gone, too. As soon as we get it back together, the, my bike, I mean, and get Boozer patched up, we're gonna ride north. Fresh start. Yeah, a lot of memories around here. Too many. Anyway. I guess I'm just saying that uh, I might not see you again, you know? <laughs>